We're in the pickup today with Timmy's. So it's a good start to the day so far. I can't have Timmy's when I'm on the motorcycle, so I figured when I take the pickup, why not? It's supposed to rain this afternoon, that's why, I, uh, why I'm in this beast. It's supposed to rain pretty good. But you know, knowing the weather people, it's probably not gonna rain at all. It'll probably be hot sunshine and could have taken the bike. But oh well, oh well. I like to listen to the radio anyways. Usually when I'm on the bike, I, I like to sit there and listen to my own thoughts as uh, and listen to the bike. But uh, when I drive the pickup, I usually have my podcasts going or uh, or the radio and yeah, I haven't taken the pickup in a while. So I figure why not? It's Monday morning for me here. I have a pickup appointment at 9 a.m. in Winnipeg. I'm gonna pick up some farm equipment, some uh, some headers, I believe. And I think they're headed to Saskatchewan. This construction here. I guess I should have had my signal on that whole time. Oh, I'm that person. I'm that person that I complain about. Uh, at least no one was waiting for me. This construction here messes with everybody. They're apparently redoing the water lines on that side of the road. Looks like they're doing a pretty good job getting done pretty quick, but... Usually in Steinbach here, uh, the construction gets done pretty quick and on time, from what I've seen. It's usually in Winnipeg. Where you go to Winnipeg, you know, they start a, they start a project and then they run out of money halfway through and then it just sits there half done for three years. It's a, it's a Winnipeg thing. All right, all of this gravel back here is packed really well already. It's good to see. I'm supposed to be training on these boom trucks today to Wednesday, but uh, maybe that'll start this afternoon because I gotta go pick up a load first this morning in Winnipeg. Like I was saying. I am supposed to be getting that, that training. So we'll see. Maybe they'll just start tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know how often I'd be driving those things. I mean, cause I have my truck here and uh, there is already a driver that drives this one and the other one. So unless they're thinking about getting a third one, maybe, I hear they're pretty busy with them. Or maybe when uh, these regular drivers are on holidays or sick or something. I have no idea. All I know is I'm here now, and I'm parked crooked. That's not okay. okay just barely though, there we go. Just, just a touch. I just, 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 just like that. There we go, I think we're straight. Straight enough anyway. Okay. Oh, let's grab all my stuff. Phone. You need that. Oh, the weather is wonderful. That is nice. I can definitely, it definitely feels like it's gonna rain later. I can feel it already. It feels very thick and humid. Oh, uh, what am I gonna take first? Let's take this stuff. Pickup needs a good interior detail again. Oh, man. I think I have one more and my coffee in there too. I'll come back for it. I'll come back for it. Let's get all this stuff to the truck. It's a lot easier to take all my stuff here in the mornings when I'm not on the bike. Because when I am, I gotta shove it all in my backpack. And the backpack gets pretty full. Not that that's bad or hard or anything. But... Good morning. Hello. Hello. Very nice. Have you had a good weekend? Yes. Me too. Thought I was gonna get further on our uh, on our front deck, yeah, this weekend, but everything always takes longer than you expect, like usual. Always does. I gotta get it done next weekend, though. Because if I don't get it done next weekend, the weekend after that, 
uh, my nephews on my wife's side, they were going to help us stain it, which is really nice of them. So I, I kind of wanted to have it done by then so we could get that done together. Yeah, fun little, fun little project to do together, I think. Full of oil. That is awesome. couple of headers and accessories for them. These are going to uh, Yorkton, Saskatchewan. Someone out west of us there. Needs to do some farming. It's on the way. Just barely fits on the bottom of that step though, eh? <laughs> I'm glad it does though, otherwise we'd have to put it up on a flat. It'd probably be too high for a flat. It's like a glove and you see all of these uh protection protections underneath all the straps they provide all of that there which is very nice uh these straps that go over here protections down here and then also up there there's a steel protector i'm sure you can see it there protects it from obviously getting cut up by those teeth they all provide that there very very light load very light that guy's got a much heavier load than I do. And there he goes. All those trailers are matching over there. Isn't that fancy? Look at that. Parked nice and even and straight. Wow, someone took a lot of effort in cleaning that area. Nice. Nice. My minor OCD is satisfied. So our safety guy, Glenn and trainer here, has given me some uh, 
light reading. <laughs> a little bit of organ. This is uh, the booklets I'm going to need to study and learn to uh, for my training tomorrow. Uh, it starts tomorrow on the picker truck, or whatever you want to call it, the boom truck. The trucks that I showed you with those long arms, they they you'll see, you'll see. So uh, I'm going to be uh, spending all day here tomorrow training on that. Should be uh, should be interesting. Actually, it'll take a couple of days. They'll probably want to train me on both trucks because apparently both trucks are a little bit different. Uh, but like I was telling you, both trucks have a driver in it right now, so I'm pretty sure they're just training me to be a backup. Uh, for now, just so that, you know, if one's on holidays or if one's sick and they need a load pulled with the picker truck, they can throw me on it, right? I like to be as useful as possible. I like to have, uh, what do you call it? Have skills in every field. In whatever they need me to do, they can send me to do it and know that you know, I can take care of it. I don't want them to, uh, you know, have something that needs to get done and they're like, man, who do we got to do it? Now we got nobody here. How about Josh? Could he do it? No, he doesn't know how to do that. He's not trained in that. I don't like that. I don't want them to talk about me like that. I want to be that useful guy that they always go to. Like, well, Josh is here. He knows how to do it. So, that's my thinking. I could have taken the bike today. The rain passed already. It poured. Well, it didn't really pour. It rained pretty hard for a little while, and that's over already, and now it's getting hot. So, once again, I left the bike at home because of the rain, and then... I could have ridden anyways. But tomorrow we're going to ride the bike, and tomorrow we will. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, it happened. So shame on me. Not tomorrow. Off we go. And I just noticed something. This is Roger's truck right here. He has a special parking spot. <laughs> He's got new quarter fenders on his truck. He didn't even need new fenders. He had the, uh, or new half fenders, sorry. He had quarter fenders that were just fine. They matched and everything. I have been asking for new quarter fenders for my truck for months. They told me they couldn't get them. You see, mine don't match. I have half fenders on there, but they don't match. Is driving me nuts. So I've been in there and I've asked them a couple of times, and they're like, "Oh, we, we uh, unless they break, we can't replace them." Well, I know for a fact that Roger's quarter fenders weren't broken, and he got new half fenders. Huh? Huh? Did you look at that? Nice brand new half fenders. Well, well. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go and have a talk with somebody. I want new half fenders too. <laughs> Not a big deal. Not a big deal. But I did notice. I notice. I'm not sure if that's a squeaky wheel gets the grease situation. Maybe I've just got to be a little bit louder about it. I don't know. I, I can up the volume a little bit. I can be a squeaky wheel. <laughs> you can't give one guy nice things and not give the next guy. That's why I say that I'm probably never going to get a nice shiny truck. As soon as you get someone else, as one person gets something, everybody wants it. <laughs> anyway, speaking of which, this is the truck I'm going to be doing my training on tomorrow. They've already got it all set up. Uh, got it all set up here. So we'll take a look at it now. Oh, and the other picker truck's actually right over there. That's the uh, white Kenworth. I'll just look at this one for now, though. She's a beast. And tomorrow, I'm gonna learn the ins and outs of ins and outs of how to operate her. That boom there picks up these and loads them onto a trailer. And as I operate it, I'm going to be sitting up there on that seat. And there's a lot of shrangles, a lot of levers up there that I've got to figure out what to do with. 
These big steer tires, eh? This thing means business. I'm pretty sure uh, this truck also goes up on the ice roads in wintertime. And I have expressed interest in that, so maybe this winter I might be uh, taking a few trips up there on the ice roads. And I'm going to show you the real ice roads, not that Hollywood stuff you watch on TV. It's all just played up for views, you know. They're trying to make a TV show. Got to try and make it interesting, right? This is going to be the real stuff, the real ice road trucking. Right through my eyes as I see it. I mean, I try to make myself as interesting as possible, but I also say this is real reality TV, not like those reality shows that are cut and edited. You know, they have helicopters following you everywhere, film crews, editing teams, and your Hollywood producers. It's a great show, don't get me wrong. I love the show, but it's not real life yet. It, it's played up. It's, it's nothing like what it's like to be up there from what I've heard. So we go up there all the time on those same ice roads that you see on the TV shows. And when I go up there, I won't have a helicopter following me. I won't have a film crew following me and I won't have a Hollywood producer telling me what to say and how to say it and uh, producing, you know, manufacturing problems on the road. If there's no problems when I go up there and come down, that's just how it is. If we have problems, hey, then we might happen to have some content for that day. But the thing is when, when you go up there in real life, and it's just you and maybe another truck. I think they usually send us up there in twos at least. You're up there on your own. Like you guys are up there on your own. If something goes wrong, you don't have all the safety nets that these people filming the TV shows have. If you if you get into an accident or you get into trouble, you got all these people following you and helicopters that can lift you out of there if you're in danger, you got medical crews following you everywhere. Sure, that's that's nice to have that safety net, but in real life you don't have that. We're gonna turn around and there's the other picker truck. I'm not being trained on this one. This one's apparently a little different. Does It's somewhat the same, but it acts a lot different and uh, the controls are different. So I'll have to spend a day another time training on that one if they want to train me on that one. So. And that's Anthony in there. That's his uh, daily truck. So. That's something to look forward to.